Good evening, and thank you for choosing the Drake Dragsaw Theater. Audience members are reminded to shut the fuck up. Any audience members caught using their cell phone will be taken out back and flogged. Concessions are available nowhere because we couldn't afford to order more. Movie theaters are dying. We hope you enjoy the feature presentation. If you're currently attending school right now, then you've probably noticed banners, rubber wristbands, shirts, and posters everywhere proclaiming the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign. And I kind of wanted to critique it a little bit. If you're unfamiliar with the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign, it's essentially a loose association of soccer moms trying to convince middle schoolers and high schoolers to stop using the R word. Let me reiterate, they're trying to stop children from just using one word. They don't go about it like, hey, it's not cool to be discriminatory or be considerate to others. They quite literally are just, don't use that word. We're in for quite the shit show, so strap in. You're going to notice a lot of parallels in this video to my video where I talk about the word boomer. Because this is once again just people completely disregarding context and usage. And just immediately assume that this one word in every single context is bad. They say things like, don't call things you find stupid retarded because you're disparaging the differently abled. I'm not saying you should ever call a disabled person retarded, but why is it that because it's not the proper word to use for them, then the word is instantly bad in all contexts? They played a video in class compiling a bunch of different examples of the word retarded being used offensively, and one of their clips was from Tosh.0 where he calls a malfunctioning vehicle retarded. It's important to note that he didn't call a person operating it retarded, he's saying that the vehicle itself is retarded. In the context of that joke, Tosh.0 is characterizing the vehicle and saying that it is stupid. And again, their explanation as to why the word was offensive in that case is really poor. They basically say that it's offensive because saying that something stupid is retarded is the same as disparaging intellectually disabled people. Because for some reason, they're still making a correlation between the words retarded and intellectually disabled people. That logic is flawed because the word retarded isn't the term used to medically refer to intellectually disabled people. Even at the time that that episode aired. Funny thing, it actually used to be the proper medical term to refer to them. You want to know what the proper word was before the term mentally retarded? Idiotic. I'm not making it up. If you have ever used the word idiotic to refer to something that you found stupid, then by the logic of these geniuses, you are a bigot and are disparaging disabled people because it used to be the term that's used for them. Not currently, it just used to be it. And another thing, let's be real here for a second. Genuinely ask yourself, do you really think Tosh.0 was saying, the way that vehicle is acting is improper, and exactly like how an intellectually disabled person would act, and ergo, there is something wrong with intellectually disabled people? Do you really think that was what Tosh.0 was implying? Do you really think that's what the audience was thinking when they laughed at the joke? And I guess if it's just offensive in every use of the word, then me referring to things like paint retardant is also me bullying disabled people. Disregarding context and just saying that the word is always ultimately offensive, and any use of it ever is always disparaging disabled people is not only an extremely flawed and baseless argument, but in a way it's also kind of dangerous. Alright, let's say that your message gets through to the kids. Okay, I will no longer call people a retard. Well, another thing that this campaign neglects is that there is an entire plethora of words that can be used to hurt people with disabilities. Off the top of my head, Spurg and Autist are both words that can be used to hurt people's feelings and mock disabled people. But for some reason, you don't go over that in your campaign. You're too fixated on just banning one word when there are hundreds of synonyms for it, with dozens being added every year. Synonyms that are just as equally offensive, too. Which is why it's just so narrow-minded to be like, don't say retarded, it's always offensive. Because it implies that it's the only word that's offensive to disabled people. It feels like how in 2016 when Tana Manja was going on about the word nigger, and how it's always offensive, and that if you say it ever, even if you're just reading someone else's quote, or just saying the word candidly, you are a racist for saying it. It is 
exactly the same thing here, where they're like, you are always bigoted for saying the word retard. Well, I don't think the word retarded is ever a nice word to use to refer to something. This campaign ignores the context and meaning of the usage of it. What you should be teaching these kids is to just be accepting of others. Don't fucking bully people. It'd be way easier to get across, and it'd be much better than you just going off about how you're so tolerant because you're willing to vilify comedians for using a word. It encourages a flawed mindset of just a word always being offensive, and another mindset of just, okay, I won't use this word, I'll use all these words that are offensive. Another issue I have with the campaign is that they put the disabled people front and center to use as props to share their story. It feels like those manipulative ASPCA commercials that are like, Don't you feel shitty now being comfortable at home? Look at this dog cry. How dare you be happy while someone else entirely unrelated and completely independent of your situation is sad. It's honestly a disgusting practice how you're using literal people as selling points of your campaign. So someone who's ever said the word retard before, which is everybody that speaks English, shills out a couple of bucks to buy wristbands that will ultimately end up in the landfill. Now you might be asking, their campaign can't be that effective. Who the hell would actually bother to donate to this? Well... Anyone who finds school boring would donate to it. Another thing that they do to raise funds is that if you donate one dollar to them during school, you get to skip your last period. It's very ironic that they've devolved into this. Yeah, you can skip school and miss education if you give us a dollar. It's a smart practice just to save their own business. If they didn't have it, they'd be completely flailing right now. It's smart but it's pathetic that they can't just raise money on their own message because they don't understand it. They don't understand what they're fighting for, they just are too concerned with being offended for other people. This campaign is ignorant, this campaign is narrow-minded, and this campaign is retarded. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please remember that you don't need to donate money to these phony charities just for them to just go to more schools and do more campaigns. If you want to help disabled people, there's a plethora of better ones to pick from. I'll find some and put them in the description if you're really interested. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.